hello everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by to all my new and old subscribers thank you so much for watching this video on today's menu we are making chicken and potato set fry this is an easy one you would love to try let's get started For our ingredients, we have our chicken um, thigh. This is the bone. Um, you could use the chicken breast if you prefer. I have my sweet potato and my regular um, small potatoes. For my vegetables, I have my um, orange, yellow, and green bell peppers. And these are my onions. I also have my mixed frozen vegetables. Um, you could use the fresh one if you prefer. I'm going to start by boiling the potatoes. I added some water to it, cover it, and let this cook for about five to seven minutes. So while the potato is being cooked, um, let's season our chicken. So I have my ginger powder, my onion powder. I'm also going to list all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box. But this was about one teaspoon of each. I have my garlic powder. This is my Bedia Complete Seasoning. I'm also going to be using this um, seasoning salt, uh, the Lowry seasoning salt. Yeah. Lastly, I'm going to be adding my cornstarch to it. With the seasoning, you could use any seasoning you prefer. Um, yeah, but this is what I have. This is what I prefer in my chicken seasoning when I'm making this recipe So use any seasoning that you prefer. I'm not mixing all this together to make sure the seasoning I will um, Mix in the chicken and I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes But you could just go ahead and use it if you don't have that time I'm gonna be using this avocado oil to um, fry my chicken. You could use any oil of your choice let the oil um, heat up for about two minutes or until it's hot and you're gonna add your chicken to it and we're gonna fry this till it's like coated brown now let's check on our potatoes our sweet potato is ready but the regular potatoes is not so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take out the sweet potato and I'm going to give it more time for the potato, the regular potato to be cooked. So you don't have to mix the potatoes um, if you don't like um, sweet potato or you don't like the other potato. I just like the sweet potato and also like the regular potato. That's why I'm using it for this recipe. But if you don't like sweet potato, you don't have to use it. You could use any potato of your choice, okay? And also remember the sweet potatoes are always going to be done before the regular potato. So anytime you're cooking both at the same time, make sure you take out the sweet potato first and let give it more time for the other to cook. I'm now checking on my chicken. It's looking really good, but it's not to the color that I want. I want it like really golden brown, but not like too hot. So I'm going to give it more time to like fry a little bit till I get the desired color. And this is the color that I'm going for. See how it looks really pretty. It's still not like hot in the inside. It's really soft in the inside and has that golden brownish color that I prefer. I'm now going to take the chicken out from the oil. And we're going to continue with the rest of the recipe. And you see all that? Yeah, that adds a lot of flavor to your food, so do not throw that away. Leave that in the pan. I'm not adding about one teaspoon of garlic paste. If you don't like garlic, you can omit this part, but it adds a lot of flavor to this recipe. Once you add your garlic to it, make sure you give it a stir before it starts to burn. I added my onions to it. You see the way I cut my onions? I didn't slice this like chopped onions, like the bigger sizes. I'm going to let the onion fry for about one minute, just one minute guys, I'll show you in a little while. While that is um, frying, let's check on our potatoes. Now our regular potatoes are done. See how when I poke the fork in it, it goes right in there. So I'm going to take that out too and I'm going to let that cool off a little bit.
now let's check on our onions our onions have been frying for exactly one minute and that's it we don't want to overcook our onion we still want some crunchiness in our stir fry so i'm going to take that off from the oil and i'm going to continue with the rest of the vegetables i'm now going to be adding my um bell peppers i have my green yellow and orange you could use any colors you prefer but this brings a lot of colors to the dish i'm also gonna let this fry for about one to two minutes because this is really harder than the onion so let's say one to two minutes but not too soft because we still want some crunchiness in our dish okay so let this fry for about one to two minutes and we're gonna also scoop that out from the oil and we're gonna continue with the rest of the vegetables all these vegetables are packed with flavors remember the chicken that we fried in the oil yeah that oil is full of flavors so all the vegetables that i'm frying in is also full of flavors as you can see my oil was almost done so i added a little bit more because i have uh, my frozen vegetables to fry so i have to add a little bit more I'm not gonna stir fry my frozen vegetables for about one minute. These are organic frozen vegetables, and yeah, if you prefer the fresh ones, yeah, go ahead and buy them and cut them the way you want. It's just that I was feeling lazy to buy all these vegetables and cutting them. This was easy for me, so go ahead and do whatever is comfortable for you. So I let this fry for about one minute, and that's it. I'm not gonna be seasoning it with the, my seasoning now. These are onion powder. A little bit of the onion powder about one teaspoon and I added my um, complete um, seasoning I'm gonna list all that in the description box I have my edible powder I also have my crushed um, pepper here this is optional I just want some spiciness in my stir fry so this is optional if you like spicy you could add a little bit so if you don't like it just omit this part so I give this a stir to make sure the seasons are well mixed in the vegetables. Now that I season my frozen vegetables, it looks really good and well seasoned. Now let's put everything together. This is it guys. This is it. I added my chickens, my onions, my bell peppers and we are almost done. Look at that. This looks beautiful. So I mix this together. Look at the colors everything was so crunchy it wasn't really soft but if you want it softer you could give it more time in the cooking but with this um recipe you don't want it too soft it's really crunchy really really good i just added my um regular potato i did not cut the potatoes because it was small potatoes and when i cut them it's going to be mushy and we don't want that we are making some stir fry so we want some crunchiness we don't want to have like mushy vegetables in a stir fry and the reason i did not add my sweet potato now is you know the sweet potato was really soft so that's going to come at the last end when everything is ready i'm just seasoning a little bit with some seasoning salt because when i tasted it i was missing a little bit of the salt so i have some seasoning salt and it was perfect so try using this um seasoning if you like it but it was good adding it to this recipe and guys that's it if you don't like sweet potato that means you are done Look at this dish, it's a one pot dish and you have everything, you have your carbs, your protein, your vegetables, everything you need in a balanced meal. Look how pretty that looks. And I added my sweet potato and that's it for this recipe, really good. Alright guys, wasn't this recipe an easy one? was a healthy one too of course so please give this a try and i know you're gonna love it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't until i come your way next time this is cook with Nike. be good to yourself be good to everybody it goes a long way